Um, hey, miss, um, that's my seat right there. Is it possible you could get up and... Excuse me, I don't see any your name on this seat. You shouldn't have got up in the first place. Who do you think you are coming up in my face trying to tell me that this is your seat? Wow, what a bitch. Hey, hey, welcome back to episode five of Diaries of the Drunken Dumbbells with Di and my sidekick, Gio. Today's episode... How to quit being a bitch and to learn to control your emotions. That little reenactment that you saw between Gio and I, so that actually happened. You know, I was traveling, I was on a layover, I was tired, I was irritated, and somebody, like, asked me for their seat. And I was like, excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. Right? Gio knows how I get, like, when I get irritated. I try not to get irritated that much. Dude, we let our emotions take over our lives every day, right? We That's mistakenly true. allow our emotions to control ourselves when we, in reality, we need to control our emotions. Yeah, Gio, you kick that emotion in the butt. Get that emotion, Gio. Come on, Gio, you got that emotion. You get that emotion, Gio, Gio, you got it. If you find yourself being mean to other people, it's likely that you're dealing with your own emotional problems, which end up causing you to be more angry and hostile. Look, anger is a, a completely normal and even at times can be a healthy emotion, but when it gets out of control, that's when it can become destructive. When it gets out of control and turns destructive, this is when it can start leading to problems in your own life, you know, in your relationships, in your work life, and just your overall quality of Harboring anger and resentment, it's like drinking poison and then expecting someone else to die. Oh, snap. That's a good one, die. The good news is, anger can be managed. Now, it may not be as easy as just, like, breathing deeply and singing Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Begin to analyze yourself when you're feeling those emotions, when you're feeling angry. Analyze yourself and figure out how does that make you feel. In my situation, when I yelled at that poor guy, I felt horrible after that. Like, I, it, it just felt gross to me like I didn't feel right I didn't feel good I had a pop so it just didn't work for me to be angry it didn't feel good for me and that's where you want to start to look how does it make you feel to harbor those emotions how does it make you feel to harbor resentment if it's my so when I'm angry like what do I do like what's the next step Kumbaya, my lord. take some time with yourself in those emotional states when you're angry Notice how you're feeling. What's coming up for you? Does it make you feel good? Does it make you feel bad? And how do you want to change that? And don't be afraid to humble yourself. It's amazing what an apology can do. Like, um, it's amazing how much better that can make you feel than the anger itself. Sorry is all that you can say. Thanks again for tuning in to Diaries of the Drunken Dumbbells. Be sure to tune in next week as we talk about how to lose 20 pounds in one week. Not! Hey, and don't forget to follow us on Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram. Do it.